Before we welcome our first guest, here's some vital statistics for you. 30 million records sold around the world. 14 UK number one singles and the third biggest selling act in the British Isles ever. And they're pretty nice fellas as well. Their ninth studio album is out next week and it includes a cover of this Michael Bublé song, Home. Another winter day has come and gone away in either Paris or Rome and I want to go home I miss you Be performing for us later, but first, please welcome Shane and Kian from Westlife. So you go, well, the only times I've ever uh, met you guys is when I was working in LA and you were coming out there to do a video right, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's right, yeah, that's right. Five Santa years Monica. ago, was it? Yeah, it was yeah, quite a while four ago. Four years ago, yeah. Do you still do a lot of back and forth to the States? And um, no, we did. Well, we were there recently for making the video for home. We shot it out in LA. Um, and we've been there a few times, like, you know, but not for, obviously, just for making videos and recording. We've recorded a song out there as well this year. You still live uh, at we, home? We, we live in Ireland, yeah. yeah. We, live in, we live back home um, in Sligo, and uh, we, we live here as well, as well, most of the time for work, you know, during the year and stuff. Well, haven't you just been all the way around the world on a tour or something? Well, we finished touring, I think it was last May, and then we kind of had a few months, we had about two months off, and then we got ready to record the new album, so. Wow. And tell us about the new album, then. Uh, it's Is called it Back brand Home. New? It's brand new, yeah. There's nine brand new tracks on there, and um, so we've kind of spent a lot of time trying to find them tracks. It's, we find it very difficult lately, you know, to, to find the same quality songs that we had at the start of our career. So, But this album, we definitely feel like we've done it. Uh, we freshened the sound up, is what we like to say, and uh, we believe that the fans are going to love it. That's all. Of right. course they will! <laughs> I, mean, I have to say that I don't know who picks them, but um, and quite often the songs, I'll, I'll have known them from the States, but they perhaps hadn't crossed over mm. to here at all or by artists that weren't known here. You pick some fantastic yeah. songs. Yeah, Simon. Is, uh, so si well. Simon Cowell is our um, he's our A Norman. So he's picked all he's picked all of our singles since day one. He signed us before he was Simon Cowell. He was uh, an A Norman. Which is, <laughs> <laughs> we, we auditioned for him like you know, nine years ago. Right. And um, he signed us as a band, and he's picked all with, with Louis has picked all our singles since day one. So he has come up with some great ideas. You know, you raise me up was definitely one of them. Oh, yeah. Um, that was like a classic idea. But he, he's you know he's usually right a lot of the time. And all your songs aren't normally the ballads and the romance, and that's what we know you for. So yeah. are you like that? Are we romantic? Are you romantic? I think so, yeah. yeah I, think, definitely. I think, you know, we're all, we're all in... See what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're, we're all in great relationships, you know. I mean, we're all, we're all uh, with our partners a very long time. We're all very much in love with them, so uh, oh. I think that, you know... Uh, <laughs> don't tell them that. No gooseberries in the band, then. <laughs> no, no. No gooseberries. Uh, you're the gooseberry one to yeah. do, aren't we? Yeah. She's a gooseberry yeah. as well, yeah. But we're, we're a couple of gooseberries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should just get together, and then you won't be gooseberries anymore. Listen, you were talking about Simon, but you were, um, you were recently helping uh, Louis out on the That's right, yeah, so yeah, how, yeah. How did that go? How do you think this series sort of compares to um, the others? I think it's great. Yeah, I think the series in general is, is a very good show because I don't think there's an awful lot of platforms nowadays for pop music and in general you know the whole music industry is all about the rock and all this type of stuff so the fact that this show exists is the only outlet for new artists to be found and I think that's one great thing about the show uh, obviously they're not going to be able to find the same level of standard every year but I certainly think that there's two or three this year that are that are very standout and very strong and do, could do have... Do you feel a bit threatened by future proof? <laughs> <laughs> no, to be honest... very different to us. <laughs> they, they are different, but I think in general it's great to see a band like that coming through. Yeah. You know, and, and, the, and the girl band as well, because yeah. it's great for pop music. You know, it's mm. great to see Take That Back, Spice Girls Back. Pop is definitely coming back in a big way. Don't you want to... <laughs> woo -hoo! Are you going to... I know, really. it's, it's, it's a matter of what you say, you're just waiting for either a woohoo or an ah. Uh. Can, I, can I just say something? 
something that the last time I was with you guys was at the Pride of Britain Awards. Right, yeah. When I was on oh, the Westlife table. Uh, 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 <laughs> and then um, sat there for the first half an hour, me and Ray on our own like Billy No Mates, because you were late. I know, we're, right. we're <laughs> every, always late. We're every other table was full and we were right at the front, just me and Ray like that. <laughs> well, maybe Westlife don't like me. They've refused to sit on the table, but that's great. It was, right. it was a good night, actually. It was that a was really a very good, good night. night, yeah. And all your partners are actually really lovely girls, aren't they? Your wife yeah. and yeah. really down to it. And They're guys. so lovely. And Kevin. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, obviously not. It's a daft question, really, because I remember when you sort of first got together with your now wife. Yeah. You tried to keep it a bit quiet, didn't you? Did, you yeah. didn't want the fans to be put off. It, it, wasn't, or... it wasn't even necessarily that. It was more she was going to college. You know, she had started off college in Sligo back home. Um, and she didn't want to have a kind of a different life either. You know, she didn't want to have, she didn't want to be looked at in any different way in college. And she wasn't for four years. She graduated from college and then we just came out about a relationship. And it was, it's been, you know, the best thing we've ever done, I think. Mm. But it's not know? affected the band's popularity at all, has not it? The at fact all. that you are also no. quite settled. Not at all. Look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You don't need to be here, really, do you? Mm. I'll answer for you. <laughs> but, no, I don't think it has. I don't think it has, to be honest. I think we're normal people. I think the fans respect the fact that we're normal people and we have lives and we have, I have a, I have a daughter and I'm, I'm very proud of that, you know, so... How do you do that, though? I mean, you know, it's kind of impossible, isn't it, these days, with all the fame and the attention and everything, but you really are all still quite normal. normal. <laughs> <laughs> we're just normal people. Some, some people would class, yeah. <laughs> class it as boring. Yeah. We'd class it as normal. I think it's big family, the Irish family. I, I, th I, think, it, I think the yeah. Irish thing has got something to do with it. You know, mm. the fact that we come from small backgrounds, mm. yeah, small town backgrounds, you know, big family background, you know, mm. we're used to kind of just going home and your mother telling you to shut up and giving you a clip around the back of the head if you're, doing, <laughs> if you're being yeah. cheeky or whatever, you know? So I think in that sense, we, it's, we, we just, I think the, the, the fact that we're, we know each other so well as well, you know, we've been friends before we were bandmates, it's very easy for us to say, stop being an idiot, like, you know what I mean? What, what are you talking you're about? You're going to say something else, right? oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I realise we're on being at daytime TV. Listen, guys, though. we're out of time for a wee chat, but you're going to come back and perform yeah, for us, we are, aren't you, yeah. at the end of the show? Fantastic. <laughs> Divided, yes, Colleen will be getting political and she can't wait. Back soon. <laughs>